Oh, who say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home? Ah, great to hear Skylar Cole singing the national anthem before today's contest. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much. Slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Ay. What you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. What you know about rolling? TGIF, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. We're bringing it to you live. Hi, everybody. This is Brian Anderson. And with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Allie LaForce. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Jonas Valanciunas. The way he shot the ball in these last five games has been tremendous. His field goal percentage has been on the rise, and he's showing zero indications that he's going to slow down anytime soon. And we've got just enough time for a pregame report. Let's go over to the sidelines, where Allie LaForce is standing by. Allie? Well, guys, Zion Williamson can be downright scary when he's getting downhill. Pacers coach Rick Carlisle said, quote, you have to have a lot of courage to stand in there because he's coming at you fast, creating collisions. This is a Shaquille O'Neal type of force of nature with a point guard skill set. EA? Oh, that's well put. Good stuff, Allie. Thanks. And we've got some surprise teams here in the early season. Some are surprisingly bad, and some are exceeding expectations. There's still a long season ahead, and things can change quickly, B.A. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Tatum at four, while Williams patrols the middle. And it's Smart in at the point. And for the Pelicans, Ingram and Zion, the former Dukies, in at forward. C.J. McCollum is out there with Josh Richardson. And it's Valanchunas in at the center. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Here's Smart. Pass to Brown. Williams a screen on Ingram. Just five on the clock. And Williams punches it home. He's really become a better all-around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. Valanchuna sets a screen. Here's McCollum. Denied by Tatum. Richardson against Brown. Smart up top. Outside Tatum. Over Williamson. That shot off the mark. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. And this is their first time matched up with the Celtics this year. And with this matchup being East versus West, this is the first of only two meetings between these teams. Very difficult game to predict. They are not familiar with each other. I expect to see a lot of in-game adjustments tonight on both sides. A nice shot by Brown. When Brown gets the ball this close in, he knows he can finish. Just a matter of execution. Valanchunas passes to Ingram. Back to Valanchunas. Good. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now here's Brown. Last game out, he had 38 points. Outside Tatum. From outside the arc, hits a three-pointer. There's no lack of confidence in Tatum when it comes to his three-point shot. His 
looking to do damage from long range on every possession. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. Now here's Ingram. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Valanchunas with a screen on Brown. They get it back. And the dunk by Valanchunas. The persistence of Valanchunas paying off in a big way on the glass. He is just a tremendously hard worker. Pass to Brogdon. Now here's Tatum. The three is up. McCullum pulls it in. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum is advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. So you have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. And C.J. McCollum getting more on-ball action after his move away from Portland, Grant. And McCollum has showed that's where he's best. Great at breaking down defenders and setting up others. He looks very natural as the primary playmaker. First free throw is good. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Murphy, he's checked in for New Orleans. And the Celtics also making a change. White, he's checked in for Smart. Good on both. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. Yeah, attack mode from the start. Exactly what you want coming into this game. Get your better score, some easy looks, so they can start to establish themselves. One shot. Falls for Tatum. An area where the Pelican squad performed well this past season was on the glass. Yeah, defensively and offensively. Now, they know how important it is to secure those loose balls, and making it a priority helped them all season long. Now here's McCollum. Last game for him, he picked up 10. Here's Valanciunas. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Robert Williams picks up one. I love the toughness from Jonas Valanciunas, and he is lighting it up tonight. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Grant, you look at the Celtics and their defense. Not a surprise, it's at the heart of this team. No question. I mean, you have three plus defenders on the perimeter. Their big men can switch on the guards and protect the rim, too. Top to bottom, they can match up well with any team. And Valanchunas drops them both. Only a few guys in the league are going to give you more double doubles than Jonas Valanchunas. And as his career goes on, he only gets more of them. White can't hit. The Pelicans have gone two for five here in the first. White against McCullum. This one for three. Hits the trifecta. McCollum's got five. Smitty, and in terms of numbers, Valanciunas has been good for a double-double in about two out of every three games the past few years. You know, B.A., it speaks to his commitment to being an all-around force, not just a low-post scoring machine. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. 
And after spending his first three seasons with the Bucks, Malcolm Brogdon was part of a sign and trade. Just a great move for his career. Two shots. one falls for Brogdon and after that 2018 sign and trade Malcolm Brogdon got an expanded role grant he really did I mean Brogdon becoming more of a ball handler a chance to shine offensively his numbers as a result have exploded since that deal so hits one and misses one at the line he is definitely disappointed. He couldn't put his team up in front, but at least he knotted this one up. Floats one. McCollum's shot is off. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Brogdon with a bucket. Well, Brogdon was not messing around there. The defense is right up on him, and he still finds the finish. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Now here's McCollum. He's got five. Alan Chunas with a screen on white. There's McCollum with the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. <laughs> oh! I saw it. Wow! And he saw it. But we don't always get to see this from Tatum. Adding the sizzle to the steak. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. The Pelicans trail. Richardson, the pass to Valanchunas. Here's McCullum. He's guarded by White. Valanchunas with a screen on White. McCullum's got space. McCullum with another miss. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. White on the wing. Tatum, a screen on McCollum. Four on the clock. Here's Brown. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. And here's McCollum. A go-to option for this team. He puts up nearly 17 a game. Pass to Valanchunas. To end the run. McCollum's shot is off. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. And now let's take a look at the 2K leaderboard and see the highest scoring teams over the last 10 games. Number one, the Celtics. This team has been on an absolute tear offensively. It seems like they're able to find a shot every trip down. Now a timeout called by Boston. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Ready for the Pelicans. 
Nance. He's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Marshall comes in for Ingram. Jones, he's checked in for Richardson. And Alvarado's subbed in for C.J. McCollum. A big group substitution here for Boston. Horford, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Pritchard is subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. Here's Pritchard. In his last outing, eight points for him. White for three. Fires in the triple. Nice play call. Good execution. Derek's become a reliable performer for this team. New Orleans has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Marshall. Here's Nance. Here's Murphy. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Here's Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Horford outside. Over to the left wing. Here's Pritchard. Right side, Williams. Here's Hauser. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Jones, the pass to Nance. Shoots over White. That one off the back iron and out. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Pritchard. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. A three. Another miss. He's 0 for 2 now. Pass to Murphy. Nance with it. And there's the call on Al Horford. That's his first foul of the game. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. Outside Jones. Hayes with a screen on White. Shot clock at six. That's tipped. Here's Pritchard. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Good work there as it goes. And the Celtics lead by 11. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And so it's New Orleans with it. 11-point game. Pass to Hayes. Jones against White. Here's Marshall. Tries to snap the cold streak. 
After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's White. Checking his stats, he's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Shoots over Nance. Alvarado with a rebound. New Orleans has gone two for four from range to start things off. And for people who didn't know about Derek White before last year's playoffs, they sure know about him now. He played big on the biggest stage. On the wing, Jones. Horford covering. The kick out to Nance. Shot clock at five. Pass to Marshall. The three. That one doesn't drop. Now the Celtics take it the other way. It's amazing how much energy White brings to the floor, Greg. You know, B.A., he has a passion for the game. He's tough, and he's very intelligent. He makes great decisions. He has all the tangibles you're looking for. Now here's White. Back to Pritchard. Fires the three. He can't hit that time. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Alvarado. Down low. Shot is good by Nance. 32 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Pritchard. Here's Alvarado. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Three-pointer. And so it's the Boston Celtics leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. More 2K action in just a moment. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Boston. Tonight, early on, this team is saying, forget the analytics. Let's take mid-range shots. They can be easy points. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on. Not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. On the court right now for the Celtics. Brown and Tatum are the explosive wing pair. Griffin is out there with Mike Muscala. And it's Brogdon in at the one. You know Brandon Ingram has turned himself into a dominant three or four in this league. His versatility has him playing all around the floor. Two shots. First one falls. Smitty asked for Ingram, playing a bigger role the last few years. And that rode huge on the offensive side. B.A. averaging over 20 points per game the last three seasons, becoming a real headache for the defense. Richardson's checked in for Marshall. Both free throws good from Ingram. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Pass to Griffin. Outside Tatum. Fires for three. McCollum pulls it in. The Pelicans shooting only 31% of the game. Outside Ingram. Outside Richardson. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Now they've got the Bulls ahead of them next in Chicago. That'll be the back end of a three-game road trip. And the basket is good. A superb mid-range shooter. All Brown needs is some separation, and he's ready to pull up. Here's McCollum following the bucket by the Celtics. Ingram finds McCollum. Hayes with it, defended by Griffin. Ingram against Tatum. Ingram, the pass to Hayes. Clock at four. 
Here's Richardson. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Easy chance from mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Pass to Brown. Now Muscala. Outside Tatum. Murphy pulls it in. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. But that does make it a tougher shot. Now here's Richardson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That's going to send Jackson Hayes to the line. Blake Griffin picks one up. B.A., it can be tough for a young guy to figure out his game. But Jackson Hayes is making big strides and showing impressive growth. And that one misses. Well, Smitty Hayes definitely seems eager to make a larger impact on the floor. You know what I like, B.A.? His raw energy. Any chance he gets to show off what he can do, he takes it. It's hard to find that kind of relentless hustle. Now here's Griffin. Clock at six. Right side Brogdon over Hayes. And it's Brogdon missing. The Pelicans have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. McCullum against Brogdon. Hayes misses. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Oh, there's the alley! And the jam by Brown. I love seeing players connect like this. Brown excels at knowing when to go for alley-oops. Timeout called. The Pelicans... in for Hayes. Robert Williams checked in for Boston. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Valentunas. Puts it up. Kept alive. Denied by Tatum. Tatum makes it easy for his teammates with his defense. He's always a threat to block shots, and he can cover any part of the floor. Now here's Brockman. Oh, nice D from McCullum. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. 
Alley, thanks. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. That's his first foul of the game. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Tatum inside, covered by Ingram. And they say to win big, sometimes you have to sacrifice. Tell us exactly what that means, though, in basketball terms, Freddie. What it means, B.A., as a player, you might have to accept a more defined role. Most players grew up as the best player on their team. When you're on a contending team, sometimes you have to just star in your role. Five on the clock. Tatum with the block. And they'll keep possession. And the Pelicans miss again. The Celtics have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. On the money with a shot from the left block. Tatum's got ten points in the game. The all-around game of Brockton. I mean, he's all for doing what's best for the team. A selfless passer. Shot from the mid-range. And misses it off the right side of the rim. For Boston, they've gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Tatum from long range. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got six rebounds in the game. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Here's McCollum. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. At B.A., when you think of C.J. McCollum, not only a superb scorer, but an intelligent and clever passer, too. Taking two shots. The first free throw is good, and Smitty McCollum has continued to add to his game over the years. And what I like about it, we've seen the playmaking improve because he's one of the best combo guards we have in this game. An unpredictable player who just torches the defense. The Pelicans making a switch here. Jones is checked in. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Brogdon. And McCollum drops them both. Smitty, the challenges of being a small market team are very real for the Pelicans. You know it's tough to attract big-name talent or get stars willing to invest in your franchise. B.A., but the Pelicans are doing what they can to overcome it. Some changes for New Orleans. Nance, he's checked in for Murphy. And Alvarado's subbed in for McCollum. Williams finds Horford. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The Pelicans were pretty impressive last season, managing to successfully battle their way into the playoffs through a tough play-in tournament. First one falls for him. You know, in that play-in, the Pelicans faced some serious competition, Smitty. B.A., they defeated the Spurs and the Clippers, which was no easy task. But the Pelicans were ready for the challenge and ended up securing a playoff berth. Horford hits them both. If you want to talk about a high-value veteran, Al Horford is your guy. I mean, he's been around the block and has a ton of wisdom to share with younger guys. New Orleans calls timeout.
And let's take a look now at the best rebounders in the league this season. Second, Jonas Valanciunas. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. Here's Ingram. Pass to Nance. Here's Alvarado. On the wing, Jones. Alan Chunas with a screen on Brown. Outside for Ingram. Launches a three. And again, New Orleans, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Pritchard. Horford, a screen on Jones. The drive by Tatum. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Marshall, he's checked in for New Orleans. The Celtics also with a sub. White, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. Just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. New Orleans has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. White against Jones. Sinks that one from the post. Jones has got his first points in this one. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Williams passes to White. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. A solid all-around kid with the size to work inside. Good play by Derek White. For the Celtics, Derek White taking two shots. down the first one. They're not leaving any points at the free throw line this quarter. That's the best way to protect the lead. Some changes for Boston. Williams comes in for Williams and it's Hauser in for Jason Tatum. White hits them both. The Pelicans shooting a rough 25% for the field in this game. Pass to Marshall. It's not going to go for him. And the Celtics going the other way now. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. <laughs> it's always hard to get a win on the road, especially when you show zero energy on the defensive end. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Shooting for Boston. Now Horford at the line for two. He makes a first. Second free throw, no good. New Orleans is gone. 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Outside Jones. Alan Chunas with a screen on white. Floats one up. Jones misses. Boston on offense. They're on a 14-6 run. Pass to Pritchard. Screen by Horford. Launches it. 
Pritchard, no good. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Down by 12. Well, they put up a nice win against Chicago last time out. It was an all-out effort on defense. I mean, they stepped up for one another and helped each other out so well on this end. I love the communication. Love the hustle. They came up with big stops all night. Here's Pritchard. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. White on the wing. Five points in the game. Pass to Hauser. Six to shoot. Boston, no good that time either. The one thing you know you'll always get with Valanchunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. Valanchunas with a screen on White. Jones, the pass to Valanchunas. To the left wing. Puts up a three. Hauser can't get it to go. And with his size and reach, Valanchunas is a monster on the boards, Grant. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots. And his great touch allows him to rack up second chance points as well. Jones finds Nance. Right wing. Here's Marshall. Here's Valanchunas. Oh, just couldn't take the lid off. They had their chances. Came up empty. Here's Pritchard. Back to White. Horford, a screen on Jones. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Love how active Derek White is on offense. Good at making defenders question their decisions. And he drops it first. Heating up from the line this quarter, helping their cause for sure. They're right around 80% now. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Muscala's checked in. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. This helps build their lead. They're having a solid second quarter at the free throw line. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Jones against White. A shot to stop the drought. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. The Celtics shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. Pass to Muscala. Here's Pritchard. Outside White. Misses the three. White's gone, just one of five, shooting from the floor. And stolen by Williams. There's 38 seconds left in the second. Pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. 4-3. Nance pulls down the board. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. Here's Marshall. Looking at his numbers, putting up eight points a game. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. To the middle. Williams passes to White. Over Jones. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And so it's Boston up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. Defense is setting the tone. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break.
And hello everybody, what an amazing first half performance it's been for the Boston Celtics. They're clearly beating them in transition. It's been all fast breaks and hey, that's how this roster was built. Every team tries to establish an identity. Theirs is catch me if you can. Okay, time now to see how the Eastern Conference is starting to shape up. You look at the Celtics. Even if they're not the team we thought they'd be, they haven't completely come off the rails. Still plenty of time left. With all this talent, I can see them turning it around real fast. How fast you that fast? Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. Yeah, but his blocks tell only part of the story. His presence alone is making an impact on defense. Yes, defensively, what they've done, they funnel people his way and banking on his ability to intimidate. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Zion and Valanciunas playing up front. Josh Richardson out there with C.J. McCollum. And it's Ingram in at the three spot. That's the Pelicans five. Now here's Richardson. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. by Valanchunas. When you have the size that Valanchunas has, there aren't many people getting in the way of your dunk. Brown against Ingram. Right side, Brogdon. It's smart on the wing. Outside, Brown. Six on the shot clock. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And Williams punches it home. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. And New Orleans shooting a tough 22% from the field so far. McCollum finds Valanchunas. Now here's Ingram. Pass to McCollum. Takes a three. Here's Valanchunas. And he makes it on the layup. Valanchunas has got four points now in the quarter. That's where Valanchunas is a handful inside and on the block. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You're trying to close that gap. It's going to hinge on plays like this one, creating high percentage looks right inside. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Williams in the post. Valanchunas on him. Williams, a screen on Richardson. Brogdon, the pass to Williams. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Give Josh credit, taking the challenge offensively. Discipline, and that's a beautiful pass. Brogdon, the pass to Smart. Here's Brown. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Brockton against McCullum. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. They're on fire right now, shooting 80% to start the second half. Brockton, the pass to Brown. And here is Williams. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Shooting from Austin. Robert Williams at the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. Murphy, he's checked in for Williamson.
So one for two that time at the strike. Well, some have said the NBA's next media deal could see franchises' values double. As the league owner, Grant, are you good with that? Ah, uh, you know, B.I., I think I could get comfortable with that idea. I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports, the NBA. No question. Horford, he's checked in for smart. The Celtics have gone just one of three in the second half. Brogdon, the pass to Horford. And here's Brown for three. Valanciunas with a rebound. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. McCullum outside. And there's Richards on the assist by McCullum. Richardson's got his first points of the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Outside Tatum. Back to Williams. And Williams punches it home. Look at how Tatum surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. Outside Ingram. McCullum on the wing. The teardrop. And he lays it up and in. McCollum's got 11 points. They have no answer defensively inside. McCullum against Brogdon. Inside, Williams. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Brogdon's got his third assist of the night. And that is why you want the ball in Brogdon's hands, running your offense. Now here's McCullum. 11 points in the game. Pass to Richardson. Valanchunas down low. Williams defending. Valanchunas, good. The Celtics have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Tatum. Horford, a screen on Ingram. Tatum passes to Horford. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. And all second half, they haven't gotten stops out, with any consistency. And the Pelicans call time here. He's checked in for New Orleans. Alvarado comes in for C.J. McCollum. Celtics on D. They've led by as many as 14. Pass to Murphy. From downtown. 
And again, New Orleans, no good. The Celtics have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Tipped away. Here's Alvarado, hounded by Tatum. Here's Murphy. Valanchunas, good. Valanchunas has got eight points here in the quarter. And this is what you like to see from Valanchunas, being active on offense and racking up some points. Pass to Griffin, and here's Tatum from deep. Jones grabs the board. Here's Alvarado. Outside Ingram. Shot from 16, and that's good for two. Looking silky smooth there. I like watching Brandon Ingram use the mid-range area. You know, back in college in 2020, Herb Jones broke his left wrist. Less than two weeks after surgery, Jones was back on the floor. Horford can't hit. New Orleans has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. And Herbert Jones, what a tough customer, playing with a huge cast on that wrist. You know, B.A., how hard that is. He played with just one hand at the end of that 2020 season in school. Herb Jones is a fighter. Despite being a second-round pick, he made an immediate impact in this league. And the Celtics in possession here. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Taking it strong. Tatum forcing his way to the line. Playing aggressively. Shooting from Boston, Jason Tatum, taking two shots. And that one falls for Tatum. Some changes for New Orleans. Nance comes in for Valanchunas and it's Marshall in for Brandon Ingram. The Celtics also with a sub. Williams is checked in. It's both from the stripe. So it's the Pelicans now. Seven-point differential. Looking ahead, they've got the Warriors coming to town for their next game. Pass to Nance. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Nance has got his second basket of the game. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Griffin with it. On the wing, Tatum. Williams with the screen. Boston, no good that time either. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Pelicans, Nazi Marshall. At the line for two. First one falls for him. Hayes is checked in for the Pelicans. Muscala, he's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Tatum. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Celtics have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Here's Pritchard. Outside White. Pass to Muscala. Clock at six. Back to White. Fires the three. Muscala, no good. 
and he probably thought he was going to bury that one. The Pelicans trail. Now Hayes. Left side Jones. Hayes with a screen on White. Jones, the pass to Hayes. Back to Jones. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. A minute and a half left in the third. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Muscala. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes back up. And it's laid up and in by Williams. Williams has gotten his first basket of the night. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Outside Jones. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Mike Muscala. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. The first free throw is good. And some changes here for the Celtics. Brown, he's checked in for Hauser. And Smart subbed in for Pritchard. Jones hits them both. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. The Celtics have gotten 6 of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Smart finds Brown. Muscala against Nance. Pass to Williams. It's tipped! 35 seconds left in the third. Here's Hayes. Uses the glass to finish the layup. This is how you force a defense to collapse. Kick the ball right inside. Smart with the ball. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. The kick out to White. Let's the three fly. He drops it from range. And the Celtics lead by four. Demonstrating how efficient he is. Derek has a great feel for when to fire away. Here's Alvarado to the wing on the left. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Misread each other on the pass. Tried to recover, but too late. Just four seconds left in the third quarter. From deep. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. The third quarter comes to a close. Celtics out in front. They're up by four. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. And just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. On the court right now for the Celtics. Horford and Williams together in the front court. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. And it's White in at the one. Now here's Brown. Out to Horford for three. Rebounded by Ingram. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Incredible work right there on the glass. Just doing all he can to extend that lead. Hey, once you got him on the ropes, keep swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is reeling. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Here's Marshall. The Celtics making their last shot. That shot is off. At some point when you recognize someone's this out of rhythm, you have to shift to something else. 
And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And sly move by Brown to ensure the foul. He won't pass up on a chance to draw one off you. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Boston. High effort, fast break plays. They have been very effective for them in this game. Generate a lot of points for them. You also can't ignore the good job they've done rebounding on the offensive end tonight. That hustle has been well rewarded with second chance points. The Pelicans making a switch here. Richardson's checked in. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. And he's good on the second. Uh, becoming a star before our eyes. Brown's work ethic and desire to be great has transformed him into an elite talent. Now here's McCollum. Now here's Richardson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Malcolm Brogdon. That's foul number two for him. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Marshall. A minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Here's Murphy. Six to shoot. Here's Ingram. That one a little long. The Celtics with the lead. Tatum with it. And it's Ingram picking him up. And Williams punches it home. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Now here's McCollum. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. CJ has always been a gifted scorer, but he's shown significant improvement as a playmaker, which makes him even more dangerous with the ball in his hands. Free throw drops for McCollum. That one misses. The Celtics have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Richardson against Brogdon. Outside Tatum. Pass to Williams. To the paint. Shot is up. And there's Warford on the assist from Brown. And the Celtics lead by 10. Yeah, the moment Warford has the rock down low. Good night. I mean, just too many moves from the vet. McCullum against Brogdon. McCullum pass to Valanciunas. Some solid defense from Williams. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Brogdon finds Brown. Back to Brogdon. Williams a screen on Richardson. Here's Brogdon. Out to Horford. Takes the three, sinks the tray. Horford's got five points now this quarter. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Valentunas. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Valentunas with a screen on Brown. Richardson with it. Guarded now by Williams. Richardson, no good. Austin on offense. They're on a 10 to 1 run. Now Brown. Valanchun is covering. And it's good. Two points. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Valanchunas can't get it to go. 
for Boston. They've gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Pass to Brogdon. Williams with it. And here's Brown for three. Here's Brogdon. Out to Horford from the arc. Counted from distance. Horford's got 10 points here in the second half. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Now here's Valanciunas. Ingram finds McCullum. The shot off that time. Good work defensively by Brogdon. Horford outside. Ingram against Tatum. And Williams punches it home. Ooh, putting on a show for the fans. Going up with a graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Grant. Now here's McCollum. Pass to Richardson. Well, Smitty, instant replay is here to stay. A big part of the game. How has it impacted the NBA, you think? Well, I think fans and players love that you get it right during crunch time. The one thing I think that can help is to speed up replay. That's what everybody is complaining about. Here's Brogdon. Outside, Brown. Horford outside. Brogdon against McCollum. Williams, a screen on McCollum. Brogdon. And they recover it. And here's Brown for three. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. And that's why you don't give up on the glass. Man, his efforts, well rewarded right there. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. After the basket by Boston. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Jones, he's checked in for New Orleans. White, he's checked in for Boston. Boston on offense. They're on a 19-4 run. Brown against Ingram. Outside, Brown. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for the Celtics, Jalen Brown. At the line for two. That one misses. He hits the second from the line. Finally getting himself to the free throw line. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for it. Ingram against Brown. McCullum on the wing. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course, Grant. <laughs> with the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah. 
That misses, so he splits the free throws. And for the Pelicans, they're shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. Ingram against Brown. Left side Ingram. Shoots over Brown. Rebound Boston. Williams has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Tatum passes to Brown. It's just a bad foul. Gotta be smarter than this. Third personal foul. Fourteen foul. Brogdon, the pass to White. Now Brown. Five to shoot. Recently, we've seen a few super teams put together, but it hasn't always been an automatic recipe for success, Smitty. Well, B.A., a lot of times you see those super teams on paper. It's all about execution on the floor. And the biggest factor that sometimes hampers super teams is health, and that could be a big factor in upsetting your plans. Free throw good. Brown. And both free throws good for Brown. And the Pelicans with possession here. Pass to Ingram. Here's Murphy. And here's McCollum. He's guarded by White. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. And the Pelicans miss again. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Tatum inside, working on Jones. Brogdon, the pass to Tatum. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Back to Brogdon. Can't connect from short range. New Orleans has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Ingram. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Showing some nice handles in the pick and roll. Ingram's creativity is fun to watch in these sets. 133 left in the fourth. Here's Tatum. The kick out to White. Back to Tatum. Takes the elbow jumper and drains it. Tatum's got 19 points. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Celtics. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And they earn win number nine. Each win so important in this league. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Robert Williams. You know, he was flying around on both ends of the floor. Terrific energy and enthusiasm. And that rubbed off on his teammates. I thought he was a catalyst tonight. Now here's Ingram. Misses off the right iron. Outside Tatum. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Here's McCollum. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on White. Such a pure score. The defense getting too aggressive on C.J. McCollum. At the line for your Pelicans, C.J. McCollum. Taking two shots. Two 
And he makes a first. And McCullum drops them both. McCullum against Brown. So we see the Celtics taking the W here. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Malcolm, there's no question you won this game defensively. What were the aspects that enabled you to contain them so well? Man, just being locked in, man. Every possession. We didn't take any possessions off. Um, everybody guarded their lane, and, and we're there on the help side. You have to be mentally exhausted. Thanks, Malcolm. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson thanking everyone for watching tonight's game as New Balance presents our player of the game, Robert Williams.